Hi, Serious Roos here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 82, and there's some things that are weird right here, because um, I'm not full screen, and there's a reason for that, like, look at this tab that I have on the left, because I'm going for some more secret trophies in Reincarnation 42 before I um, go into Reincarnation 43, so yeah, there's two that I know I have to get, it's Triple Weirdness and Iron Rush, so... Uh, triple weirdness. I'm just looking at these clues. If you might have noticed by now that um, Yeah, this is a voiceover because the original audio just didn't record for some reason. So Yeah, um, the clue for triple weirdness. I think I didn't even I don't remember it But it's like you need to be like three um, You need to be factions that give faction coins So at least that's what I think it is so and then it says, once you figure that out, uh, just keep playing until you get it. So, well, I go into Elf's because Elf is a faction that um, gives a lot of faction coins. Or at least is easy to give royal exchanges. So, yeah, I'm doing that. I may also use Elf Research. Or, actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go into other factions that give good faction coins. Like Goblins. That's what I'm doing right here. And there is a tutorial... Thing that I completely missed. Luckily, since I'm doing a voiceover, I actually went back and read what the tip was, and it was just, you unlocked another tier for Goblin Screed. So, okay, it's not that big of a deal. I thought it was something... Originally, I thought it would be something that would literally help me give the secret trophy, and I'm literally looking at tips and hints, and they're just not... They're just not... Um, yeah, they're, they're not useful. So, I th and then I'm just using the faction's bloodline as well, because I, th I think it's supposed to be like that. So, yeah, and then I'm sort of debating over, over what the third faction I need to be is. And I think the first one I think of is Titans, because of Lightning Strike, that gives a lot of faction coins. So, I do that, um, Titans Trade Treaty, I may even go Lightning Strike, now I don't. Um, so now, I think there's one other faction that gets good royal exchanges and that is um demons because um of the, like the one challenge reward giving me a lot and yeah i noticed that yeah i noticed i can't get it and i now look at the spoiler because i have no idea and it was have exactly 333 of each royal exchange so yeah i missed that i i i didn't know i had no idea what it was was that it actually meant? So, yeah. Um, so I think I'm just trying to get a build that gives a lot of faction coins because I think the highest amount of royal exchanges I've gotten in Realm Grinder is like three hundred and like twenty something. So I don't think I passed three thirty. So, yeah, I think I think I decide to go elf line. I reckon, no, I I think I decide to go draw line. I think, because it's most likely increased the chance to find faction coins um, based on time spent in this game. And it's multiplicative, that's the big thing. Elf isn't all that multiplicative. It's very powerful additively, but not multiplicatively. So then I joined Goblin Faction because of Goblin's Greed. So, yeah, that will give me a good amount of faction coins. Still not all that much. Um, and this is where I start going for research upgrades, and this is where things get complicated. I think I should start looking for um, researchers that gave a lot of faction coins. Um, the one I got there, because I've been in this reincarnation so long, like literally over a month and a half, I didn't even tell you that. It's like a month and a half since the last episode. So, yeah, C305 gives 10,000 assistance. So, yeah, that's pretty OP. And now I think I think I spend literally like the next like eight minutes um, trying to find the best research build for faction coins. I know, it's sort of dumb. Yeah, now I decided to go full screen because I don't, I don't need to um, not... I, I don't need to just, like, have it only cover 60% of the screen. So, I mean, even though the center part is sort of useless, I guess it's just... it you, You'll see more of the game. So, yeah, it's it's a, it's a long process of me... Going through every branch looking for the best researches for faction coins. I'm not looking for production. And 
maybe it's, and I don't even think it's that much of a good idea to go for production because even like the good ones are like a double. And usually they're more like between 10% and 40%. So, like, I mean, some, I think some of the things, there's not a lot of faction coin ones. So some of the things, I do start going for weaker bonuses. Um, you can see I, I also go draw so I can get just stuff there. I check my real exchanges. That 190 at E8 faction coins. I'm just buying buildings now. I think now I'm just going to other branches, seeing if I can get um, get faction coins. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, this, this one is additive, not multiplicative. It's still probably kind of useful, um, but maybe it's not a lot useful with some of the additive ones being so much more powerful that even something like that would give maybe a 5% increase in faction coins. So I think I also I actually... You've noticed that I have gotten some, like, mana ones, especially S500. Um, because, you know, Tax Collection and Goblin's Greed will give faction coins. So, it is a good idea to go for mana. So, yeah. And also stuff like that. Increase Tax Collection by 30%. Or, no, 30%. 30 seconds, which is essentially doubles faction coins. So, I definitely want something like that. And I also think I go for Assistance because I think they help with faction coins a little bit. So, yeah. Um, it's just a long search between all of these research upgrades. Um, yeah, there's there just so many of them, and it's been so long since I've actually done the game, and or since, I'm actually, since I've looked at these research upgrades, and, you know, it's post-ascension, so everything's just so different. Uh, uh, yeah, not much. I can, uh, I mean, yeah. And I definitely get this one, because that's just the bloodline bonus all over again, which is double faction coins. So I definitely want that. Um, yeah, you can just see there's not a lot of good ones here. Um, this is mana region, 12%. Do I not get that one? Okay, good, I get that one. <laughs> Let's see. I, and then I don't think I want spell duration, because, um, well, I want to cast as many goblin greeds as possible so that, so I can get more faction coins so yeah I could go for excavations um I don't think excavations are going to give the amount of faction coins I need to get 333 rail exchanges so let's see um yeah I think I'm just scouring the rest of the research to see if there's anything that's like half decent um hopefully it's not there's not a lot of good ones in here not for faction coins because there's so many are just production and they're like so weak so yeah, I, th I think I do decide to to get like progressively weaker and weaker ones because there's just not a lot of good ones available so now I'm on the, these divine researches I'm going for stuff that gives like 200 assistance even though I have 13,000 of them so yeah I th I might have even got that plus 7 mana regen, which is really more like plus 25 mana regen. But still, that's not that much mana regen um, compared to what I actually have. Um, I think I do eventually start going for like some of the stronger production ones. Like production ones that will like double the... Um, because you can see the Halls of Legends are providing the majority, like the vast majority of the diamond coins so if I get stuff like that I think that will help just increase production so yeah I probably want this that's a huge mana regen boost as you can see almost 5,000 mana regen so yeah I think here's where I start auto casting spells and you can see I already have E14 faction coins so that's a good sign that I'll, I'll be able to make it so, let's see, I i don't even know what I do. I just, yeah, I don't know what I do here. It's not not really much I can do. My max mana is also 88,000, which I think is a record. So, yeah, it's not much else, though. I mean, I'm, I mean, there's so many research upgrades I can get. I think I get, like, a total of, like, 33 across all branches. And that's a lot. 
of upgrades to choose from. Like, I think the total number of builds I can make is something like 10 to the 23rd or 10 to the 24th. It's crazy. So, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to pick, like, the correct build. I know it's just going to get harder and harder from here on out. Like, I've heard Ascension, like, Ascension 2 is just so hardcore. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to survive Ascension 2. Because Ascension 1 is already um, a bit crazy. So, I think I've gotten most of these, um, these things here, the researches. Let's see. Probably get this weak faction coin one. Um, and maybe a couple of like strong production ones like that one. Yeah, that's a triple production. And yeah, that's what it is. And then I check my royal exchanges and I have 382 in each branch. So yeah, that means I, I need to abdicate and do it again. But I do actually say this as a build. Ascension 1 faction coin build. So, yeah, if, I, if I'm in Ascension 1 and I want faction coins, use this build because this gives insane amount of faction coins. I don't know why I'm not advocating. I think I'm just challenging myself to try to get 400 Royal Exchanges. That is definitely possible. 400 Royal Exchanges in each type of, of you know, each faction. So that's pretty crazy. But it's not exactly what I need. I'm... Yeah, I think I just decided to abdicate here because it's no use in just waiting like this. So, I'm going to do it again, being more careful with my Royal Exchanges. I need 333 in each branch. I, why am I considering demons? I need to be goblins. Um, and while I don't have a lot of faction coins, I can I keep doing these by all, but I think eventually, I, or I, I have to be careful. Once I, once I start putting research upgrades and there, i got to be careful. So A1 faction coin build. Um, oops, I, yeah. So let's see. Just buy, buy all. That might have been a little risky. I don't think it's all that risky because I haven't cast any spells yet. I have 208 royal exchanges in each branch. So what I want to do, I want to... I'm, that's 125 away from 333. So I'm going to have to get... Five, like just do it like just get some like five on each branch just clicking like using the buy one five times I'm not I think I'm just getting faction coins here so yeah and then I'm just you know casting all my spells so yeah I need five like this so 213 I do this in every I keep saying branch but maybe that's not the right thing to say I know it's from some game that, like, I, I want to say branch. Um, actually, it's probably just the researches in Realm Grinder that I'm thinking about. But anyway, 333 in each faction, and this gives me the trophy triple weirdness. So, there it is, 50 out of 64 secret trophies. I'm getting there. And the reward is, or the upgrade is, increased faction coins generated while offline based on your mana regen. And it costs E102 diamond coins, which is very weak because, like, who even goes offline for to get like faction coins? I, I think you just like AFK while doing it on, online. So that's a very weak upgrade, and it's very expensive. I'm probably not gonna be able to get it until like reincarnation 50 something. So, yeah, there is one other trophy that I want to get, and that is Iron Rush. And you are not likely to get this one without clues. Or is there iron in the game? I sort of forgot. I think it's like, oh, it's a neutral faction. That's literally all I was thinking. Um, iron Stronghold. Yeah, of course. Um, and then build a lot of them relatively quickly. Um, which means that, you know, this is going to be... Yeah, I think I just like seeing that. I'm like, okay, just just get, get, get a ton of Iron Strongholds. Right now I have 1913, but with a good build... I will be able to get just um, even more. I think, yeah, and then I go into yeah, research. I, I think I'm just getting tax collections, trying to speedrun this. Um, I have 3,000 iron strongholds. I get some researches that, like, that make it so I can get more buildings. I have 3,500 
Iron Strongholds. I still don't have the trophy. I get Druid Research Build because I am a Druid here. And I have 4,000 Iron Strongholds, yet I don't have the trophy. So I think here is where I start looking at more clues. Because I'm like, I have 4,000 of them. How do I not have the trophy? Use any upgrades you like except two. That's the problem. I didn't actually do that. Do not use gem power or reincarnation power. It's a whole lot easier after reincarnation. 40. I debate over seeing the last clue, and it's just something that is only applies to pre ascension. Uh, I mean, it means that I need stoic resistance. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know how many iron strongholds I need, but I need to get them quickly without using those two upgrades. So, yeah, I cannot click buy all, which is painful because now I have to just spam click all, all these upgrades like this. So, and then pick a bloodline and yeah, goblin so I can get more buildings. And then, yeah, just spam all these upgrades. The only two I need to avoid are um, gem power and reincarnation power. So, yeah, just get all these. Um, get this. Let's see. Just get, get all this. I don't think I want to become a mercenary. I just think I just want to get... Yeah, I want to be a druid here. Get all the druid upgrades. I think then I go into research to try to get as much as I can. I have 477 iron strongholds. It's not enough, unfortunately. Um, so here's where I go for... I, of course, I get S500. That's a must. And then E135 so I can get more um, buildings. I think now is where I start casting spells. Um, 557 Iron Stronghold, not enough. Um, I think now I just go into the Druid Research build. And now 653, 868, and there it is. Um, you unlocked the trophy Iron Rush. So let's see how many it was. It was 725 within 5 minutes. So, yeah, I was, you know, I was very safe there getting it. So, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, now, let's see what it does. Um, I need to find the upgrade for it. Okay, here it is. Uh, why is my mouse not over it? What am, I, what am I doing with my mouse? Just just hover over the upgrade, me. Why, why, why do I have to tell myself to just hover over the upgrade? It shouldn't be that complicated. Okay, there we go. Iron strongholds count 5% more. So, yeah, that's... I mean, it's definitely better than the other one. It's not the greatest, but it's still something. I'll help things a little bit. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do in the coming episodes is just get through the, the next few reincarnations. I don't need any more secret trophies until reincarnation 46, which is the next major mechanic. So, yeah, I could excavate, but I don't think I remembered to excavate here. So, yeah, Reincarnation 43 does absolutely nothing. Um, but at least with these new secret trophies, it'll be easier. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.